<laughs> Hello, my name is Marcus Blanik. <laughs> Hello. How long you stay in Thailand? Oh, I stay in, now here five months. Five months? So long? What are you doing here? Oh, Pugit Wake Park was calling me for repair one old obstacle. And then I come to this place, see the old obstacle, it was not nice. Yeah, and it was terrible actually. <laughs> yeah. And then I cut the old obstacle and recycling the old material and so and make from this and a little bit new material uh, one perfect new obstacle. <laughs> what is the name of this obstacle? Oh, the name is Poseidon. Why? Why Poseidon? It's like Poseidon. <laughs> it's very nice. How long does it take for you to make it? Oh, I need uh, five weeks to make uh, from the old one new. <laughs> Are you do that alone? Yes, I do it alone, only for helping for try the uh, heavy material and I have one person for welding the metal. Do you like in Thailand? Yes. <laughs> and what are you doing in Germany? Oh, in Germany I'm the manager for my own cable. And yeah, we have only six months in the per year open in the summertime in Germany. What is the name of your cable? Oh, the name is Wasserschianlage Rossa. Oh, <laughs> quite complicated. And uh, tell me something about your uh, park. Oh, uh, what can I say? We have uh, like this. We have one island, we have 10 carriers, and we have five towers and the highest 1150 meters this year. I see, sounds cool. <laughs> and how many obstacles you have? Oh, we have 11 obstacles. All brand planning obstacles. Yeah, only planning obstacles, yes. How long does it take to build it? Oh, um, we need, yeah, the last two years for make all the obstacles. So now in the park, Blanik Park is amazing 11 Blanik obstacles. Yes, and we have one special obstacle. We have a very big and nice pool gap. <laughs> wow, tell me please a little bit about your team. Uh, my team, yeah, my team is my wife, uh, my son Ariano and two friends. And that is all. And we need, don't need more people. To um, yeah, work on this cable. You are father of the champion. Can me? Can you tell me, please, about Ariano? Oh, what can I say? He's now 21 years, and he began to wakeboarding with seven or uh, uh, seven or eight years. How yeah. to create a champion? How you <laughs> make it? <laughs> that is not simple. Um, yeah, you need one guy or one uh, young guy or one young girl and she needs to love wakeboarding and yeah, you can, you don't can make uh, one champion or she, he needed to make himself. <laughs> What's the secret? Oh, I don't have secret. <laughs> what is your lifestyle? Uh, my lifestyle? Yeah, I love people, I love water, and I love many sun. <laughs> so that's why you stay here all winter. Here I mean in Thailand. Yes, in, in the summertime we have uh, some in Germany. Now the last month was very cold and snow and... Yeah, um, I hate snow. <laughs> and here's very better for me. What you can say to the children who want to be a champion, wakeboarding champion? Um, you need many, many fun for riding and you need to love your sport. When you don't love wakeboarding, you would never want champion. <laughs> Tell me something about your family. Who is your family? Oh, I have a very nice family. I have a very good son. And I have a beautiful woman. And yeah, I don't can live without my woman. <laughs> Everybody
everybody loves your woman and her name is Martina. Martina. I uh, hope you will come with her next year, next season. Yeah, when the summertime is in Germany, uh, Finnish, then we come with two people, Martina and me. Sounds and cool. Sounds cool. <laughs> so, thank you for everything. We loved you and you are the most kind-hearted person whom you know and hope you will be coming to us very, very often. Okay. And we hope that Blanik Obstacle will be famous around the world because it's worth so. it. <laughs>